So Hillshire Brands is set to acquire Pinnacle Foods in a 6.6 .6 billion deal, values Pinnacle $4.28 billion. It's the latest in a series of pretty big mergers in the food space, both private equity backed and strategic. What do you think? Well, that's right. It was only a few weeks ago that Hillshire bought another company called Vans Natural Foods. That's right. Other recent deals in the space, uh, Smithfield Foods last fall was acquired by a big Chinese conglomerate. Last week, Snyder's Lance was acquired or acquired Cheers Foods. At the same time, it bought another company called Baptista's Bakery. And it, and it comes along, I guess, as so many organic deals are starting to pop up in the space. Multiples are getting around like 11, 12x, which is actually really high for right now. Um, what else are you seeing in terms of like future looking M&A? Well, there's actually a few others on the block, uh, especially in the snack food space. Uh, Skinny Pop, for instance, is on the block. Uh, another company up for sale as of, as of late is Crave Pure Foods. And, and I mean, as, as we see these mega strategic deals taking place right now, one of the biggest ones on the block potentially could be Tyson Foods. They're up about 59% over the last 12 months and 18% so far this year, which is obviously an anomaly in a pretty crowded market. So I guess we should probably come back next week and do this again Monday when we have an even bigger deal on the table. Yeah, and Hillshire only up about 5% over the past 12 months. Uh, Pinnacle, on the other hand, has climbed about 25%. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what this deal does for the stocks. All right, the company's done really well since its IPO. And I think with Hillshire's slower growth, they actually may need a merger to, to kind of boost their productivity a little bit.